How to make a TV remote jammer. Tired of remote control jockeys speeding through the channels? Here's your chance to stop them dead in their tracks. You will need a breadboard, a 555 timer, 0.6 millimeter single core plastic coated wire, a nine volt battery terminal, four resistors, 180 ohm, 470 ohm, 560 ohm, and 1K, two 1N4148 high speed switching diodes, a 10K variable resistor, a BC557 transistor, two infrared LEDs, two 10 nanofarad capacitors, a nine volt battery, a small circuit board, a soldering iron, solder, a large remote control with a switch, a hot glue gun, hot glue, and a remote controlled TV to jam. Step one, set up the components temporarily on the breadboard. Start by placing the 555 timer on the board so the two rows of pins fit into the holes on both sides of the gap in the middle of the board. Connect the negative 9 volt terminal to the bottom row of holes using wire. Connect the positive terminal to the top row of holes. Step 2. Connect the 180 ohm resistor, a diode, ports 4 and 8 on the timer, and the 10K variable resistor to the row of holes connected to the positive terminal by placing each of the components leads and wires into the appropriate holes. Step 3. Connect the 180 ohm resistor to the transistor. Connect the diode directly to another diode. Then, connect the 10K variable resistor to the 470 ohm resistor. Step 4. Connect the transistor to the outgoing side of the second diode, the 560 ohm resistor, and the positive terminal of one infrared LED. Connect the 470 ohm resistor to the port 7 of the timer and the 1K resistor. Step 5. Connect the negative terminal of the LED to the positive terminal of the other LED. Then, connect the 1K resistor to port 6 and 2 of the timer and to the first 10 nanofarad capacitor. Step 6. Connect the negative terminal of the second LED to the second 10 nanofarad capacitor in the row connected to the 9 volt battery's negative terminal. Connect the other side of the capacitor to port 5 of the timer. Connect the first capacitor to the row connected to the 9 volts negative terminal and port 1. Step 7. Test the circuit. Switch on the breadboard by connecting the 9 volt battery to the terminal. Start using the television's original remote. Point your device at the TV and slowly turn the spindle on the 10K variable resistor to find the correct frequency. When the TV no longer responds to its remote, the spindle is in the right position and your jammer is working. Step 8. Solder the components, with the exception of the wire running to the negative battery terminal, on a small piece of strip board. Step 9. Open up a remote and make sure it's big enough to conceal your circuit. Remove the remote's LEDs and position the jammer's infrared LEDs in their place. Use tape and hot glue to hold the battery, circuit board, and LEDs in place. Step 10. Tap into a switch in the remote to turn the jammer on and off by soldering the wire from the 9 volts negative battery terminal to one lead of the switch. Solder the other lead to the strip on the circuit board that connects the capacitors, the LED, and port 1. Reassemble the remote, switch on your device, and relish the TV mayhem. Did you know? The first practical TV remote control was the Space Command manufactured by Zenith in 1956.